Yes, in the name of our living and loving God, and on behalf of this faith community, we welcome you all to the house of the Lord. And we also welcome all those who are joining us in worship online. May the grace of God be felt by you wherever you are. And may this service of worship be most meaningful to all of us who have come together to be in this Reformation Sunday. Blessed morning, everyone. Please stand for the call to worship. By faith, we trust that we were created in the image of God. By faith, we hope and dream and make plans. By faith, we face our fears and insecurities. By faith, we till the soil of our lives and plant seeds of love. By faith, we follow where God leads. By faith, we trust that God is present in our midst. By, By faith, faith, we, we gather, gather in this place to worship God, God together. together. Let us sing our hymn of celebration, A Mighty Fortress is Our God.
Let us pray. God of grace and great glory, we gather this morning as a community of believers to praise your name, to celebrate your grace, and to hear your word. Open our eyes to what you have, would have say, us say. Open our minds to learn and what only you can touch, teach us. Open our wills to joyfully serve you and others through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hebrews tells us, Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. It is by faith that we are able to confess our sins before God and each other. It is by faith that we trust in God's love, mercy, and forgiveness. Let us confess our sins to God through silent prayer. Sisters and brothers, hear this good news. What we have hoped for is true. What we cannot see has been made known. God's forgiveness is certain and sure. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. And now as a forgiven people, let us help to pass the peace of God with each other. And please take a little time to know the person beside you as we sing, We are one in the bond of love. bond of love and we are grateful to God that even when the rains were pouring hard last night until in the wee hours of the morning we are still here and we are able to worship the Lord our God and we know that there are still a number of passengers for the plane and also the boat that had been stranded. And we pray that today as the weather is already sunny, they can proceed with their journeys, whether here in the country or in some places abroad. So we welcome each of us 
to this celebration of the Reformation Sunday. We thank God for the Grand Choir for giving the time, especially last Friday, also today. We are grateful to our accompanist, Ms. Pelinio Tan, April. Thank you, April. And we are grateful to Carmel for leading us in worship today. Our technicians to make possible the online worship. We have Jemboy over, oh, Jemboy, <laughs> Joven over there. We have Jemboy here. And we have Cherry Ann in front. Thank you for standing in at a, a very, very little notice. Or you volunteered for that <coughs> responsibility. We are also grateful to our driver who very early fetched our accompanist and also helped to prepare our snacks after the worship service. Yes, we have resumed our fellowship snacks in the lounge. We have coffee again, and for children we have Milo, and today we have puto, next we have saging, kamote, maybe ginamos also. So we invite you after the worship service to please stay a while and spend a little time to have fellowship downstairs. We thank God for all of the choirs during the vigil services for Mr. Louis Anchanko Libarios. We are grateful to the Herald's Choir, UCM, CWA, the Chordsmen, the Household of Faith, the Grand Choir, and the Quasicon. The remains of Mr. Louis A. Libarios were cremated yesterday, and we are so glad that we were able to journey with the family all through the nights when his body arrived here in Cebu. Thank you so much, everyone, also for the prayers for the family. We also thank the Reverend Joan May Kanyete for facilitating the vigil services when the body was still in Quezon City. So thank you so much, Pastor Joan May. On Wednesday, that's our midweek service, uh, November 2, Many of us may not be able to visit our, the graves of our loved ones in the places where they are located, especially those in the provinces. We invite you then to worship with us on Wednesday, 10 in the morning. You can bring your flowers, you can bring also your candles, and then we can do the memorial service here in the church. It is at 10 o'clock in the morning. We don't have the 6 p.m. worship anymore. So those of us who want really to uh, offer memorial thoughts to your loved ones, you are invited here in the church. Please remember, Wednesday, November 2, 10 in the morning. Please continue to pray for our sisters and brothers who are still sick. Let's pray for Mrs. Thelma Villacorte. She has still uh, sleepless nights and she still has pain all over her body. So please continue to pray for her 
recovery. We also pray for our pastors who are doing their best to recover from their sickness. May that Reverend Ponil Abelia may be able to walk already to use his uh, legs and arms to be able to do the functions that, need, that are needed for his recovery. He is, continues to undergo a physical therapy. And all of the other pastors that we had been praying with and for are already uh, showing good signs of recovery. And still we continue to pray for each one of them. We give you a gentle reminder for our commitment as a church for our church workers, Appreciation Sunday on November 27. The work on our gutter and roofing had already been started on October 20. So the metal gutters had been taken out in two sides and uh, another worker repairing the concrete gutters. But because of the constant rain, they were not able to work continuously, but they had already started the work. And we thank God for the lives of our sisters and brothers, especially those who are celebrating their birthdays today and the coming days of the week. Happy birthday to all of them and those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries. May that God continue to prosper you and grant the desires of your hearts. Let us sing happy birthday and sweeter as the years go by. Let us now come before God in prayer. How wonderful it is, O oh God, for your people to come before your presence and before the presence of one another. Thank you so much, God, that you have awakened us up to this new day, and we are part of the living, celebrating your goodness in our lives. Thank you so much, God, for the gift of life and strength, the gift of being able to stand up and do the tasks and responsibilities that we have accepted from you. We are praying that your blessings be upon each family who has come before you today, whether here in the sanctuary or in the places where they are joining us in worship. 
You know the dreams they have in their hearts, the longings that they have in their hearts. May that in your goodness and mercy, you will grant unto each the fulfillment of their prayers. We thank you, God, for the presence of each one coming before you with thanksgiving and supplication. We are also praying for the Anchanko Libarius families that even as they grieve, they will continue to remember that we have you as our God and you will never leave us nor forsake us. May you continue to uphold them and give them the strength to go through the process of grieving and mourning. Bless this faith community, O oh God, as we struggle to be true to our calling, to be true, to be faithful to the faith that we pros profess. Bless us, O oh God. And we are praying for our sisters and brothers who had been greatly affected by the typhoon, whose family members had been lost in the process, and whose properties and comfort zones are gone. In your mercy and grace, Hear their longings for rescue and help, and help us also to find concrete ways to reach out to them, to offer the resources that we have so that they can stand up again and trust you that you are the God who provides, who hears people when they cry for help. Wherever they are, we pray that our prayers can touch them and they will not feel so alone in their condition, in their sufferings. We're also praying, O oh God, for the Matilda L. Bradford College. You know the condition of the school. You know the situation that it is facing. And we pray that with your help, the prayers of your people will be heard. We pray for the children who are enrolled in the school, their parents as they struggle to meet all the needs we are praying for the faculty and staff and the administration. Bless them, O oh God, according to your loving kindness. We are also praying for the Visayas Community Medical Center as it continues to improve its physical structure, as it continues to improve its services to the people. May your blessing be upon the medical team that works to help save lives, especially in times that people need their services. We are praying, O oh God, for our country as we are faced with so many challenges. Bless our president, also the members of his cabinet, that they will serve the people truly and sincerely as they promised. Thank you, God, for allowing us to come before you and bring before you our supplications, our thanksgiving, and our hopes and our dreams. To you, O oh God, we offer our lives in your service, our talents, and all that we are. May you protect us from all harm and danger. May you allow us to prosper in our endeavors 
and may your loving kindness embrace each one of us and the families that we represent. For this is our prayer in your name, O Jesus, our Christ, our friend, our brother and savior. Amen. Please stand for the reading of God's Word. The scripture is found in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse, verses 8 to 10. And it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what we, He has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Here ends the reading of God's word. Please be seated.
the triune God, creator, redeemer, and sustainer, embrace us all as we come before God in worship. And we are grateful to the Grand Choir for reminding us of what we believe in. Thank you so much, Grand Choir. And despite the tiredness, they were still able to wake up and be here to help make our worship services wonderful and meaningful. Let us pray. Triune God, as we continue to meditate on your goodness, on your love, and your power, enable us to understand your will and purpose for our lives. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be a blessing to all of us as we come before you in worship. This is our prayer in your name, O Jesus, our Christ. Amen. On this Reformation Sunday, our meditation is entitled, Because There Is Grace. Because there is grace, we had been saved, not by our own good works, but by the gift of God who loves us so much. Grace abounds. It is everywhere. When we look around, whether around us, over us, or wherever we turn our eye, we see the grace of God in display. In nature, for example, it is filled with God's grace. The mountains, the seas, the hills, and also the lofty skies, they all declare the grace of our loving God. Our hymns, the hymns that we sing when we come to worship God, say it all. When we sing, a might, or sing the mighty power of God, or how great thou art, then we are able to declare our awe, our wonder, our gratitude for the grace of God that is ever around us. We also see the grace of God in people's lives. The provisions, the protection, and the life of children. When we hear the laughter of small children, we feel very good, especially kung lolo o lola na. No? There is no other source of joy for the grandparents but the applause, the laughter, and especially when they ask you to cuddle them. We are amazed at their wisdom. For example, I watched this Steve Harvey show with amazing kids. And then there was a two-year-old child who was able to memorize all of the names of the U.S. presidents. And not only memorize, but this two-year-old is able to say something about this president. When the president became a president, and what kind of person is he? It's so amazing that a two-year-old can do that. But the happiest of all in the audience were the grandparents. Not the parents, but the grandparents 
who were so happy and so proud to watch that their apo is so incredible. Another two-year-old became a winner in Spain Got Talent. May, maybe some of you saw that. There was this two-year-old boy, and he was drumming, and his skills were so amazing that he won it. God's grace is everywhere. We see it everywhere. And at times, we fail to acknowledge God's grace. It would have been wonderful if we who had been recipients of God's grace can appreciate it every day and give thanks to God for such amazing gift. However, as grace abounds, as grace is everywhere and flowing freely, grace is also blocked. Do you notice that at times your prayers seem to be not answered? And you would wonder, nga man God, nga sige naman kog ampo, nga nung wala man gihapon ko ni baga. It's really not God's fault. The answers to our prayers had been sent a long time. But in the process of flowing, the grace is blocked. God wills for grace to freely flow, to be experienced and enjoyed best by as many as can be. But some people are blocking. In what way? Yes, the grace of God is blocked by our own greed. At times, we become so selfish that even when we notice that God's grace is already flowing to us abundantly, we block its flow to other people. And we hoard God's grace to ourselves, even when we know that some people are in need of such. Grace is blocked by people's attitude toward others. Hatred, animosity, insults, arrogance. We may not have noticed it immediately, but how we relate with our sisters and brothers is a way of responding to the flow of grace to God's people. Our arrogance at time blocks the flow. Kung hunahunaon na ito, no? Huwag mong guntay angay nga ikapanghambog. Because we are only recipients of God's gifts, of God's grace. But many times we forget ug mga hambugiro o hambugira ka ita. As though we own the things around us. But in truth and in fact, we are just channels of God's grace. Grace is blocked in the church's attitude. For example, 505 years ago, during that time that is called the Reformation, the church was teaching erroneously the people. It taught that salvation can be bought 
So those who have so much money were rejoicing because they were assured of salvation according to the church. Even their dead who were in the purgatory, they thought that they can be saved and they can go to heaven when they pay so much to the church. Or when their loved one dies and they can buy the kind of rituals that the church can offer with special payment, they think that their dead will go direct to heaven. So much abuses in authority and in leadership. Salvation became for sale. Can you imagine kung ang salvation nato baligya hangtod karon? Maglipay yun tong daghan kaayo o dolyares or euro or peso no? or dinar. There was even a time during that period that the dead was not given proper ritual for burial. Ni refuse ang simbahan uh, before there was only one church that was the Catholic Church, not yet Roman Catholic. It was the Catholic Church or the Universal Church and everyone was member of that Catholic Church. But it was only after the Reformation that the church was divided. And we have now the Protestant and the Roman Catholic. Imagine during that time, they were taught that kung ang imong patay, dili mahatagan o ritual before ni mo i-bury, dili yun na malangit. So when as an act of punishment to the people, the church did not perform any ritual of blessing for the dead. You can imagine the feeling of the people so depressed because they were thinking that their dead would surely go to hell. It was a torture for the people during that time. The church people was hungry for money, for power, and for fame. When we read through the story of the church, we will know that there was even the killing of the pope or the bishops so that a new person can take over the position. And this became the start of Reformation. Because of God's grace that could not be contained, that could not be blocked, some priests rose up and specifically one monk or one priest started it all in the name of Martin Luther. So October 31, 1517, Martin Luther spoke up against the church abuses. Thousands of lives were lost during the period of unblocking the flow of grace. Hundreds of thousands of lives were lost because God's grace had to be unblocked so that its flowing will be free. And we have so much to thank God for, for those who risk their lives so that the grace of God can freely reach God's people.
The grace of God intended for each person to a life of good deeds. When God's people, those who are called by God's name, obey to do good, then there will be no more arrogance, no more boasting, because arrogance, boasting, are signs or indicators of insecurity. Anong manghambog ka man? Kay insecure ka man. Kulang ka man sa affirmation. Kana ilang gitawag nga KSP. Pero dili na siya KSP na karon. KSP. A. Kulang sa affirmation. So, ibandilyo gyud nimo ang imong kaugalingon para ka ma-affirm. Imog yung ipakita nga na akay gahom, na akay daghan ng mga salapi. According to a saying, it is the strong who is gentle, the weak is the one who is unkind. So kung strong ka, kung confident ka sa imong kaugalingon, then makita na sa imong paggamao. There is gentleness within you. Dili ka hambugiro or hambugira, kay wala may rason, kay settled ka naman within yourself. No more boasting. Kai, again, we really have nothing to boast. Everything belongs to God. Wala na unyay pagpangawat sa ginoo. No more rubbing of God. Diba, according to Prophet Malachi, inyong gikawatan ang ginoo kung dili ninyo dadun ang tibuok na ikapulo dito sa templo. Kay magtuot nga uh, ang Ginoo malipay sa maghatag nga malipayon. Pero ang paghatag na asyay basihan. Basic gayod ang paghatag sa ikapulo. So kung ato rang pili-pilion ang atong paghatag, ato rang unsa na i memorize memorize og pilay atong ihatag dili gyud ang eksakto nga kantidad ato nga gikawatan ang Ginoo so no more rubbing from god wala na unyay bullying no more lying or cheating no more deception tungod kay ang grasya sa Ginoo ani ang nagpuno kanato Ug ang grasya sa Ginoo mag-convict ka nato. Sa pagbuhat gayod sa maayo. The grace of God leads us to do good deeds. Good deeds are expected of those who had received the grace of God. Good deeds are expected of those who call God their God. Good deeds are expected of all those members of God's family and those who declare that we believe in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as the choir reminds us. When we do this declaration that God is our parent, then our lives become light that shines to all. And people will see the good works that they do, we do, the good deeds that we do, and glorify not us, but glorify God, our Creator. So let us let our light so shine that people 
may give glory to our God. The Reformation event continues to remind each of us how certain people in their desire for fame, fortune, and power would do everything to attain their ambition. However, the Reformation is also a living reminder that God's grace continues to flow also in most adverse situations. Even more important is the reminder that evil can never triumph when all of God's people who received God's grace will continue to dispense grace in the way they live out their lives. Sisters and brothers, there is grace. It abounds. It is everywhere. And it is flowing freely. There is God's grace. Let us let this flow freely so that all of us will be blessed. God bless us all. Amen. When Jesus calls us to believe in him today, he's telling us that we can trust the goodness of God in our lives. Generosity springs from our trust in God's goodness, a goodness that is strong, stronger than anything else in the world. Now as we give our gifts in support of the ministry of the body of Christ, we say that we trust our past, present, and future to our generous God. Let us bring our gifts to God to the altar. Please stand for the prayer of thanksgiving. Thank you, God, for the ways you inspire us and generously model us for this act of giving. We, get, we gladly give back to you, O Lord, what you have entrusted to us. Gladly we offer to you ourselves for your blessing. Use us and our gifts, dear Father, in the work of proclaiming your love to all people. Through Christ our Lord, amen. You were the word at the top. You were the word at the beginning. One with God, the Lord Most High. Your hidden glory in creation. Now revealed. What a beautiful name it is What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus Christ the King What a beautiful name it is Nothing compares to this What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus heaven without us so Jesus you brought heaven down my sin was great your love was greater what could separate us now what a wonderful name it is what a wonderful name it is Christ the King What a wonderful name it is Nothing compares to this What a wonderful name it is The name
faith, wonderful grace of Jesus.
wonderful indeed is your grace, O God. By it we live each day. Each day, O God, you send us nothing but miracles. Each day you send us nothing but your amazing grace so that we can live out our lives to the best that we can be. Thank you so much, O oh God, for giving us your grace, for letting it flow freely to us. Help us, O oh God, that your grace will continue to flow unhampered and blocked to everyone, to all your people, so that everyone can declare your goodness, everyone can experience your love, everyone can experience you in our lives each day. Bless all your people, O oh God, that we will work out every day to spread grace, to dispense grace, and to be the instruments of your grace. Hear the prayers of your people, O oh God, and protect each one as we depart from this place or from places where we were located. Bless us, O oh God, and make us a blessing unto others. And thank you for this opportunity to come before your presence to meet our sisters and brothers face to face. Thank you, God, for the wonderful grace that is ours. Thank you because we belong to your family. And now, the Lord bless you and take care of you. The Lord be kind and gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>